even when I was in Templemore, and that's 27 years ago now, it's a long time, 27 years ago, we, we were trained in, in, in drink driving um, quite well. But even then, I, I remember one of the instructors was saying to us that it was the most heavily contested area of law out there, um, many hundreds of cases. I think there's about 700 different cases on drink driving. Every single aspect of the law has been tested. Um, there's things that, they, that the state have to prove. In most drink driving cases, they have to prove that you actually drove the car, that they have to prove the time that you drove the car, they have to prove that the place that you, you drove in is a public place, it has to be a public place, it can't be a private place, um, and that the, the arrest is lawful, that the suspicion to arrest you was, was reasonable, that the, maybe if they're pursuing someone, that they are, they're, they're driving behind someone, that the stopping of them is lawful. So there's all those different steps, and if, if um, the sample isn't uh, taken within three hours, that's a ground to have the case dismissed in some cases. Um, Sometimes posting the sample, that's not done, on, uh, done within a reasonable period of time. There's documentary evidence that has to be checked. But there's many areas. Many, I mean, people assume that, oh, I'm over the limit, so that's it. It's really not. And then there's the evidence in court. The judge can only base their, their decision on what they hear in court, in the witness box. They don't see any statements. They don't ever read any statements. They just have to base their decision on what they hear. So what they hear is important. If you know what they have to hear, and I do, so I, I have a checklist of things that have to be said. In some cases, there are things that are not said. For whatever reason, the guard forgot to say it. And even though they might come out of the witness box and say that was in my statement and I just forgot to say it, it doesn't matter. It's only what happens inside in court that matters.